Hello, hello, this is Nancy with Portal Games and it's another episode of our vlog. We record 100 vlogs, I don't have 100 uh, fingers, 100 vlogs for 100 days and we try to entertain you and try to find the best content for board gamer. What is the most interesting for you guys? Let me know, but we will discuss the feedback later because now, today, what we have? Today we have a tutorial. My name is Ignacy Trzewiczek, I'm designer of the game Robinson Crusoe and today I'm going to teach you how to survive and how to win the game. Seriously easy. So today I'm giving you five basic lessons, five basic tactics how to win the castaway scenario, the first scenario in the game, the one that is, uh, I heard, very difficult. It is not. You can win it every single time, almost every single time with this tip, so let me explain how to win this scenario. Point number one. Don't be afraid to lose, to get some wounds early in the game. The whole game I was, I was designing it is about engine building. You have to build your inventions, you have to explore the uh, island, you have to bring morale up. At the very beginning you will get a couple of wounds and don't overthink it. Don't try to not get wound. That's okay. If you get the two, three, four wounds at the very beginning of the game, nothing bad will happen. Focus on inventing inventions, keeping morale up, exploring the island. This is important. The first days on the island, get wound. Don't worry, don't try to protect yourself for any cost. The next thing, the second tip for the first scenario is find, explore, find a mountain tail as fast as possible. The best possible strategy for the first scenario is three explorations in the first round, so you have three tiles, so you increase your chances to find a mountain tile. And if you haven't have a mountain tile after the first round of the exploration, you must, you must do it in the second round. You need this mountain tile. Why you need this mountain tile? Because it allows you to build the axe. And the whole first scenario is about uh, building the big pile of wood. To get wood, you need to have an axe. You will not win this scenario without building the axe. So the first strategy, the second tip for you is the first round, explore, explore, explore as fast as you can to find mountains and the next following round build the freaking axe. Without that, you are done. The third idea, but before we do that, please share this video. We appreciate your help, we appreciate your likes, we appreciate your comments. So if you like to help other castaways survive on the island, if you see anyone on the Facebook groups complaining that Drogis and Cruiser is too hard, let them know about this video. The design of the game, Ignacy Trzewiczek, is personally giving them tips. Back to the action. Number three, keep morale high. Uh, I personally believe, till today, the whole time, I believe that motivation, the will, is so, so important. And if you are depressed, if you have no motivation to do, you will just crumble, you will just die. Uh, so that's why the morale rules are so important in this game. And that's why if you have the high morale, you will get all these abilities on the player characters, you will just have all these powers, and when your morale is down, you will have to discount the discover token, discover the um, determination tokens, and if you don't have them, you get a wound. And uh, statistically, as we know from the playtesting, and as we know from internet, the statistically, the most common death on the Castle Island is not having enough determination tokens and just being killed in the moral phase. So, what you need to remember every single time you play the Robinson Crusoe, be sure to be at every moment of the game, know who is the next first player and double check, triple check, I don't know what's the next stage, uh, with them if they have determination tokens to pay in the moral phase. And if they don't, they have to go to the camp or they have to go to the threat action, they have to get these tokens. This is so, so important. <laughs> and the next the game you play and you have no determination tokens in the moral phase and you are dead, it's your fault because I just warn you, this is very, very important. Keep the eye on the moral phase try to keep it as high as possible. And if it is a low, be sure that the next first player has these tokens to discard them in the moral phase. Super, super important. And as I said, I believe it in wholeheartedly that you need to be motivated to survive and that's why the moral phase and the moral rules are so, so, so important. Tip number four, and I have to confess, there is hidden trap in the game. The trap for the first scenario. For the first scenario, the trap is called the cave. So on some tiles 
you will find a cave, which is a natural shelter. That means that you can sleep there and you don't have to uh, build a camp, you don't have to build a uh, roof and palisades, etc., etc., because it already is a natural shelter. It's a trap. Each time something bad will happen, you will have uh, move out from the natural shelter and you will lose everything. You cannot move your camp, you cannot escape from any problems. Uh, this is a trap. Please, 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 in the first scenario, never sleep in the cave. It was a trap from the very beginning. And the uh, last tip, oh, there's more, but the, we, I promise you five. The last tip, determination tokens are not meant to, to be discarded in a moral phase. They are meant to activate your amazing, amazing abilities. They are very powerful. And if you're playing Robinson Crusoe and you're not using these abilities all over again and again and again and, and all the time, you're playing it wrong and you will lose. Uh, the cook that provides the food, the carpenter that provides discounts on a building, which is very important in this scenario, the soldier that can have a plus bonus to the weapon, all these abilities are used to win the game. And when we were playtesting the game, my playtesters are use were using these abilities all the game. So if you're not using them, you have to learn how to use them. Uh, read them carefully, be sure that you have the determination tokens, keep morale high and use them without using the uh, abilities of the players, you will not win the first scenario. If you have a tractor on the island, it's even better. Guys, thank you for watching. That was uh, my five uh, basic tips to win Robinson Crusoe. And as always in this vlog, I appreciate your feedback. Let me know in the comments if that was helpful, if you were using these tips and still losing, or maybe some of them were new for you. Let me know what's your experience with Robinson Crusoe. And if I should record more of videos like that, if this is helpful for different scenarios, for different my games. So as always, I create and I try to create the best content for you so you are entertained. And I need your feedback to give me what you think about this content and if it was helpful for you. And then shares, please, if you see on the game forums, on the different Facebook groups, somebody telling that Robinson Crusoe is so hard and they are losing over and over again, let them know that there is a video from Ignacy Trzewiczek, designer of the game, when he helps you survive on the Cursed Island. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your likes and your comments. I'll see you next day.